Before installing gauges, we strongly recommend technicians follow the non-invasive system testing process, pronounced as NIST. NIST helps determine whether gauges are actually necessary and provides predicted values based on current system variables. It's crucial that technicians develop an expectation of instrument readings before observing them. This allows for accurate validation of readings, ensuring correct system operation. Without an expected value, identifying deviations and potential issues becomes difficult. Refrigeration diagnostics focuses on understanding the refrigeration circuit, particularly at three key points. Critical point number one, where 100% vapor begins to condense into liquid. Critical point number two, where the refrigerant is fully condensed to 100% liquid. Critical point number three, where the refrigerant is completely vaporized to 100% vapor. Ideally, these three critical points should consistently yield target values of 10 degrees Fahrenheit of subcooling and 10 degrees Fahrenheit of superheat. Saturation temperatures, along with superheat and subcooling measurements, are primary diagnostic indicators that guide subsequent steps in the diagnostic process. Saturation temperatures can help determine whether airflow issues warrant further investigation. Subcooling is an indicator of refrigerant volume within the condenser. High subcooling suggests an excessive refrigerant in the condenser. Conversely, low subcooling suggests refrigerant shortage in the condenser. This value alone does not indicate incorrect refrigerant charge. Superheat is an indicator of refrigerant volume within the evaporator. High superheat suggests a refrigerant shortage in the evaporator. Conversely, low superheat suggests excessive refrigerant in the evaporator. This value alone does not indicate incorrect refrigerant charge. When applying the diagnostic process, follow these steps. Measure airflow. Airflow significantly impacts instrument readings and should be assessed first. This provides a crucial baseline for system performance evaluation. Measure superheat and subcooling. These values indicate whether further investigation should focus on the outdoor or indoor unit. It's crucial to remember that superheat or subcooling alone should not be the sole basis for diagnostics. Verify findings. Identify additional data points that support the observed superheat or subcooling deviations from the target value. Refrigerant diagnostics is primarily a theoretical process. While gauge installation is a physical task, accurate data interpretation relies on a solid understanding of refrigeration principles and theory. Reference this video for the solutions to the comfort cooling simulator. Remember, stay safe and be cool.